Hello, I'm back. Hope you've missed me. Um, sorry for not being properly on for the last couple of weeks. Um, I've had issues with trying to move and then trying to sort out my broadband. The broadband issues are still um, happening. So until that gets sorted, I'm having to use my mobile data because that's the only way I can get any videos recorded. Because if I used my girlfriend's current internet, because we're basically waiting for it to get upgraded, a current internet is ridiculous. I think it was like 5.0 download rate, download rate, sorry, and then upload speed was ridiculous. It's so slow. It's really, it's really frustrating when I'm trying to watch stuff on the telly, and it just keeps buffering. So yeah, for now I'm using my mobile data. Hopefully by the end of next week it will be sorted and I can go back to recording better, like more frequent. But at the moment I'm just trying to record when I can. I did a live stream yesterday that didn't get didn't do very well mostly because of the quality so i'm just hoping that you lot you lot can put up with me for now but anyway this is this that's just the intro done and dusted i wouldn't usually done a such a long intro but it was just to explain to you all and apologize for not being on here um but yeah i'll be back in a sec with the first afterburn episode after burn show of the episode Right, so here we are, um, and we've got our next Afterburn show coming up. Um, we're currently 172 grand in the bank. Obviously, people who've been watching the series know that I had to cheat. Um, I appreciate the person that commented about the fact that, you know, don't worry about don't stress about it, because a lot of people on the game probably have to do it. So, you know, I appreciate that. I just feel like it was cheating a bit, but... Um, yeah, so here's the announcers moving forward. So on the events, we've got Greg Lambert, Bully Ray, and Jim Smallman. And then after Burn TV, we've got Greg Lambert, Mauro Romaro, and Joey Stars. Um, so hope we'll test these out and see how they get on. Um, let's have a look at the... We'll just quickly show you the last show. I'm just trying to remember. I haven't played this in a few weeks, so already I completely forgot where everything is. There we go. Right, so Afterburn TV got a 78 rating, 108 people turned up last time. Uh, Mark Andrews defeated Eddie Dennis in the main event to retain the heavyweight title. Um, POD, which is Ashton Smith and Rampage Brown, defeated the new element, which is um, Kenny Williams and Joseph Connors. And that got an 86 rating, which I think is probably the highest match rating we've ever had on a show, but I, I could be wrong on that one. So, uh, yeah, so not too bad. So I want to try and replicate that for this one, Afterburn. Um, but yeah, let's get on with the first show. It's like riding a bike, and it you just get back on it, and you know after after a few seconds, you know what you're doing. But, um, yeah, thank you to everyone who's had patience in waiting. I I appreciate you waiting. I appreciate the fact that you you know a few of you did let me know that you're going to miss uh, my content while I was away. So that meant a lot to me. Um, so thank you. Luckily, we've got no backstage incidents. It's amazing what happens when you get rid of all the, the bad apples. Right, so let's have a look. So what we'll do for the first match is we're going to do a um, three-way tag team match. And then what we're going to do is have the new element. Oh, not Kenny King. Oh, I haven't got... Oh, I'm so stupid. I haven't got Kenny Williams anymore, have I? I completely forgot about that. So we'll no longer be able to have uh, Joseph Connors and Kenny Williams as a tag team, which is a shame. Um, so we've got we've got Generation Next, I suppose, we could put in there. I'm going to put Kamikaze in there, give Blue Kane some ring time. Um, and then, oh, we need to mail as well. Um, I think we'll give the colons, because uh, I signed... I signed um, Carlito and then Eddie Colon, so we'll give them a run out, see how they get on. Um, who have we got as the tag champions at the moment? I don't, yeah, yeah, we've got vacant, so these will be for the, the tag titles. Um, actually, we'll do 15 minutes just to be on the safe side. And then I'm going to leave it blank. Um, but yeah, we'll just do that. So the tag division's a bit rubbish now um, because we haven't got Morgan Webster or Kenny Williams. So my two best tag teams was New Element with Joseph Connors and Kenny Williams and Mark Andrews and Morgan Webster. And, and that's that's the problem we've got at the moment. So I'm trying to find other workers that can come in now and 
have good matches. So, so that's the tag title match sorted. Um, we'll leave that for now. I need to do another match first. We'll do a women's match now. There we go. We'll do actually we'll do a we'll do a seven way women's match. Why not? Get a few of these women on the card. So uh who we got? Ali, she can be in there. Um let's see, Billy Starks maybe. She could be in there. Uh Gulia, as I like to call her, even though it's probably pronounced Julia. And then we've got Ginny in there as well. Jetta we put in there. Like so. Jodie Frett. Let's try her out because I don't think she's wrestled for assist. And then Hayley Ray. So there you go. I will give Billy Starks a face later on. Um, I'll do it offline. Right. I think Ginny. Is Ginny the women's champion? No, it's Ali. Ali's a women's champion, so we might get potentially a new women's champion in this one. Um, I'm just going to put Ginny and Ali in a microphone angle. Like so, there we go. Uh, that's that. Um, I'm in my girlfriend's kitchen, by the way, so if people can hear like weird noises, it's because of the I don't know what it is, but I think it's the fridge. So if it becomes an issue, let me know and I'll move into the lounge from now on and do the recordings in there. I can hear it, so I'm just, if you lot can hear it, then just let me know. Right. So we've got another match we can do now. So let's do, do a four way singles. And then we'll do Mark Andrews. We'll do Mail. Oh, I already have that clicked. Um, Maybe a kid. I want to put some new ones in there. I've got um, Ben Buchanan, who was oh, what's his name now? He was in NXT, and I can't remember his name now. He was um, tagged by Rob. He was managed by Robert Stone, which was with Carl O'Reilly. It's it's oh, it's tip of my tongue. I can't think what his name is now. Anyway, um, Bobby Fish is here, so I'll probably put Bobby Fish in this match. See if he can do well. I'm going to give Car Charlie Dempsey a try. And then let's see who else. Um, I've got Gabe Stevenson, but I don't think he'll be able to. Um, actually, do you know what? I'm going to put Gabe Steven in there. This will be a test of Mark Andrews' working abilities. So we'll do 20 minutes. Actually, do. Yeah, do 20 minutes. Oh, there we go. 20 minutes. Heavyweight title. We won't. But the, we'll make sure Mark Andrews retains it. We'll play it safe. He's our best worker. We don't want him losing the title. And then what we'll do is a beat down afterwards and we'll have Charlie Dempsey fighting and then Mark Andrews selling. And then what we can do is that the next show, we can book them in a singles match. Ah, we've gone too, too much over. Uh, 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 right, let's, 12 minutes, that's 12 minutes, we'll knock this down a bit as well, and then how long have we got, two more minutes to knock off here, we're going to leave the angle alone, there we go, we'll just knock two minutes off this, it is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Right, there you go. So let's see how we get on with this show. I'm a bit rusty, so I apologise if this is not uh, perfect. Um, but yeah, an exceptional match. POD defeat Kamikaze in the colons. So we've got new tag team champions, POD. Um, Rampage Brown was probably the standout performed by the looks of it. Blue Kane got a 43 though, which is slightly up than last time. So that's good. He's improving as a worker. Uh, angle with Ginny and Ali did okay, got a 60. And then the match got a 69. Ginny defeated the rest of them, so she's now um, the women's champion again. Unfortunately, Jetta sustained an injury. Um, Jetta got a performance of 79, which was pretty good because she got injured. Ginny, 85, so she was pretty good. Kaylee Ray, 76. The rest, not so good. So Jodie Frett, 
we need to get rid of her, she's not good enough. Julia's okay. Um, Billy Starks is not good enough, so we need to get rid of Billy Starks maybe as well. So yeah, anyway, right. That's that women's match. And then in the main event, Mark Andrews, as we know, retained the title. Um, got a 78 range, so that's good. So Mark Andrews got a 92, Bobby Fish only got a 48. Uh, Charlie Dempsey got a 51 and Gabe Stevenson got a 62. So Gabe Stevenson did better than I thought. Oh uh, yeah, so that's good. And then the angle afterwards to end the show got a 61. So how did we do overall? So we increased our popularity in one region. We got an overall rating of 72. We got 104 people in. So not, not the best, but not the worst. Not a bad show to kick off this episode here. Um, so yeah. So hopefully now I've kind of just got back into it a bit. I can book next show a lot better. Um, I think we've got pay-per-view next. So I've got to really try and book a decent show. But yeah, we'll just quickly wait for this to load up. Yeah, so just to let you know, um, for now I won't be using an editor. So, um, so yeah, oh, pardon me. So you're gonna have to go back to my poor editing with literally no editing really, other than doing it in chunks and then putting it together. I need to, I don't really have much time to learn how to do proper editing at the moment when I will try and do it slowly but surely and get there. Um, and if my financial situation gets better, I'll go back to getting them edited. But I think a lot of people, um, from what I looked at the analytics on YouTube, I think a lot of people just preferred how I did it before by the looks of it. I don't think they liked it when I got the ed an editor in. Um, I don't think it makes much difference on this type of game. It's more to do with like other games like GTA, maybe Football Manager to an extent. You might need to edit then, but yeah. Come on, this is taking a while. Um, what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to come back in a minute when this is finished. Right, I went back. Um, <clears throat> there wasn't anything worth telling you about um, after the last show finished. Um, but unfortunately, Killer Kelly has left us. So that's the women's division a little bit depleted now. But we've still got some strong women workers in Ginny. Um, I think if Ginny left, that would be a bigger loss than Killer Kelly. But yeah. So we've got Wrestle House tonight, which is our... Uh, one of our big events. Um, so let's just get cracking with it and then we'll figure out what we're going to do as we go along. I don't really pre plan anything, I just kind of just go with the flow. I feel like it makes it more fun for me instead of just pre booking everything. So obviously, that's not everyone's cup of tea. A lot of people like to put effort in. I used to, I did do that on my Twitch save at WWE. I booked three months in advance. So I booked the two nights of WrestleMania and then worked my way to backwards to the Royal Rumble, and that's how I did it, um, which was good. But yeah, just when it comes to this, I'd just rather just do it myself. Uh, let's do this Psycho Sermon, see if that does anything. You give them the Psycho Sermon, everyone in the locker room is now going to give their absolute best so they don't want to have to come back and face you after a bad performance. There you go. So we're gonna put, we put the fear of God into them. Um, so let's start the show strong, and let's have Tag team match. And then what we'll do is have the tag champions, which is Ashton Smith and Rampage Brown. Um, let's do that. Let's do that. And then what I'm gonna do, I would put totally tremendous, but I don't I don't think Bobby Lashley is very good. Um well, who's the bounty hunters? Let's try the bounty hunters, which is Dalton Castle and Loretto Kid. So they can make their debut. We'll do 17 minutes and then we'll put the tag titles on the line. We'll have Ashton Smith and Rampage retain it. Hopefully that'll be a good way to start the show. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll have Dalton Castle and Laredo Kid attack them afterwards. the match so maybe that'll potentially set up a feud right next match we're going to have is um you know women's tag team title on the line so we've got Ginny <clears throat> and then who are we going to have Ginny against uh Vipress maybe Valkyrie 
Rio. Let's try Rio. All right, so that might be a good match. If it's uh, if Rio is any good on this database, then it will be a good match. But it just depends on whether they've got Rio in a good light on here. Right, so then we'll just do an angle before that show. Before that match, sorry, Guinea. Oh, microphone. And then Rio. We won't we won't rate Rio because she's probably not good on the mic. Right. So next match we'll do a four-way singles. Um if Aerostar, A Kid, Alan Angels, Amazing Red. And then what we'll do is we'll have uh, high fly, high spots in this one. So that's that. And then we'll have another always match, this time women's match. So we'll have, uh, let me think, Hayley Ray, Kira Hogan, Masha, no, not Masha. Um, maybe Mimi Mew. We'll try Mew, see if she's any good. Uh, we've got Nikita Lyons, but I don't think she'll be good enough. Try Viper, see how they do. Up there. Be 15 minutes. And what I'll do is I'll push this over here to the back. Like so. So. That's that. Um, how long have we done so far? 86 minutes. So we've got a few more matches we can do. Maybe two more matches, I think. We'll just do some single matches now. We'll have, um, let's think, we've got male. Let's see who else. There we go. Makes it a little bit easier. We've got Trent Seven, TK Cooper, uh, Rich Swan, Miro. Put Miro in a match. Matt Cardona. Let's do Matt Cardona versus Miro. See if that's any good. Actually, no. We'll do Miro versus Kid Lycosity. Advice given. Okay, so Miro apparently can't do longer than fifteen minutes. And we'll do Miro attacking Kid Lycos afterwards. That's the wrong thing. Uh, Miro fighting Kid Lycos selling. Right. So we've got one hundred nine minutes. Um, we've got. We can do actually another, we'll do a couple more matches. We've got plenty of time. We can do the more matches we do, the better, really, I think, as far as I'm concerned, because it'll get some more. Hopefully, it'll get we can figure out who's the best workers that way, doing it that way. Because you can't really do that on an afterburn show. And we've got AR Fox, we haven't tested yet. Who else haven't we tested yet? Ethan Carter, maybe? No, we won't bother with him. He's probably not very good. But Joseph Connors in there, I know he's. He's good. Actually, I'm going to have Joseph Collins in the main event, I think. Matt Seidel, we've already done. Yeah, so we'll go Mark Briscoe and see how they get on. Okay, that's fine. Mark Briscoe cannot be in a match longer than 15 minutes as well. And then what we'll do the main event now. We'll have main event. I'm just going to do a normal match. I'm not going to have any stipulations. Mark Andrews versus Joseph Connors for the title and they can go 20 minutes as it's the main event and then what we'll do we'll go still the show open match but we'll have Mark Andrews as the victor and then we'll go all that match 
hopefully that will not completely bomb. Ah. Okay. So we're 15 minutes. There we go. Right, let's just double check. 75% matches, 87 would not be clean ones. Right, okay, let's go. Hold on, let's have a look at this first. Booking analysis. Amazing Red's been used too much. Vipers has been used too much. Okay, fair enough. Right, let's see how we get on with this one then. So in the opening match, we've got 74 rating. POD retained the titles. Um, Rampage got a 78. Ashton Smith got a 66. Loretta Kid got a 64. And Dalton Catani got 51, which is a shame. I was hoping they would do better. But at least they can have a decent match with POD. Um, the angle afterwards only got a 50. And then the four-way women's match got an 80, probably because of uh, mostly Kaylee Ray. But yeah, Kaylee Ray won the match. So Kaylee Ray was the standout performer. Maya Yamashita, um, I think that's how you pronounce her name. I apologise if I've got that wrong. Got 71, so she's a decent worker, so that's good to know. <coughs> Angle with Ginny and Rio got 62. Um, we should have put Ginny on script. I keep forgetting to put her on script. The women's match got an 84. Oh, Rio's really good in the ring. That's so good to know. That's really good to know, that is. I'm so happy about that. So, yeah. So, that's good. So, Ginny retained the title. Got an 84 rating for that match. So, I reckon we could probably put them in a main event. Uh, a little bit longer, maybe. And then go all out and see what they can do with that. Pacing. So that's really good. And then we had a four way high spots match, got 65. Unfortunately, didn't do very well. Alan Angels was the standout performer of that match with a 70. Uh, a kid won. And then Miro, um, Kid Lycos defeated Miro. That's a surprise. I just assumed Miro would have won that. Uh, Miro's rusty. So um, that's why he didn't do very well, I think. But yeah, he only got 35. But Kid Lycos, standout performer with 84. It's all right, I've got Baxter by my feet. Uh, my dog. Um, the angle afterwards got 55. And then in the semi main event, we had. Um, hold on. Um, semi main event, we had Mark Briscoe defeating AR Fox with the shoot star press. Got a 67 rating. AR Fox has got 73, so that's good to know. Mark Briscoe, not very good though. And in the main event, we got an 86, which is amazing. Mark Andrews defeated Joseph Connors. Um, he makes defence number five of the title. Mark Andrews with a 92 rating. Joseph Connors with an 83 rating. Um, Jim Smallman let the team down, so maybe we need to get a better announcer in the main event next time. Um, but yeah, other than that, it was a great match. Let's see how the event did overall. So we increased our popularity in 56 regions, which is amazing. Overall rating of 81, which is really good. And we've got our biggest ever crowd of 192 people. That is amazing. Um, I'm just going to do a speech. Mark Andrews, Joseph Connors. And then we'll go Ginny as well, even though there were other people that deserved it. Um, I'm going to give Genie a hug just because I think it might be a little bit creepy. <laughs> no, <laughs> I won't. I'll just think like it would be something like Vince McMahon would do, wouldn't it? There you go. I'm going to tell her she's awesome. Everybody's happy. There we go. Happy workers. If we keep our best workers happy, they will perform well. So that's good. But yeah, I'll be back in a sec with the next part of the show. Right, we're back for the next Afterburn episode. Um, we've got some backstage incidents, unfortunately. Um, Bobby Lashley, oh this one is um, a good one so that's good. So he went to a waffle bar and cooked for everyone, great, that's what we like to see. Uh, A-Kid was brought before wrestlers court, accused of being sold by his phone. Um, basically he's found guilty and sentenced to buy crate beer for locker room, fair enough. And then Johnny Kidd has passed on his tips on psychology to Project Blue Game, so that is all good. Right, so what we're going to do is to start this show and have a tag team match and we're going to have Blue Kane and Shea Purser versus um, pretty deadly I think well, let's have a look actually the Avengers maybe let's try the Avengers out which is Calvin Tankman and Gringo Loco I'm a fan of Gringo Loco he's amazing 
So let's see what they can do in the ring together. And that's that. And then um, what we'll do afterwards is we'll just do a blue cane microphone shape purser microphone and then we'll put Elton Prince microphone set up um, and uh, Kit Wilson to set up a future match between them two. And then what we're going to do now is we'll do a women's tag team match because we don't do them very often. So we'll have Ginny and uh, who else should we have with Ginny? Uh, We'll put Rio on the other side. And then we've got Jetta, I think, is injured, so we can't really put her in the match, even though she's available. Kaylee Ray can be one of them. So Kaylee Ray can go with Ginny, and then we just need to find someone that's good enough to go. Maya, there you go. This should be a decent tag team match. Go 17 minutes. Book that. And what we'll do is. Uh, we'll go three-way singles. Male. And then we'll go... Who uh, hasn't wrestled? We haven't got Austin Guns. So we might as well push. Um, no, actually, we'll leave it for now. Dave Mastiff, we'll put him in the match. He hasn't wrestled for a while. I've got Eddie Dennis in there. See if he's any good. I can't remember if he's good or not. Um... And let's try Commander, see if he's any good. In fact, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go with uh, Lucia Libre much here. <clears throat> so I go 18, no, 15 minutes, sorry. 15 minutes, and then we'll just go high spots. Um, I think we've got enough. No, we haven't. We haven't got enough for any other matches, so we'll just leave it as that. And let's start the show. So yeah, Kamikaze defeated the Avengers. Got a sixty-three rating. Um, Blue Kane got a forty-two rating, which is slightly down from the last match he had. And then Gringo Loco got a forty-four, but Calvin Tankman got a seventy-seven. So we can put Calvin Tankman in some singles matches, and he'll hold his own. That's good. Uh, the angle afterwards only got 36. Shea and Kit Wilson struggled to be off script. Um, we need to change Kane, Blue Kane's gimmick. I need to do that. I keep forgetting to do it. In an exceptional match, Ginny and, Je and Kaylee Ray defeated Rio and Maya Yamashita um, in 16 minutes 57 seconds with the Gory Bomb. Uh, got an 80 rating, which is really good. Kaylee Ray got 78. Ginny got an 85. Uh, Maya got a 66 and then Rio got a 76, which ain't too bad. Um, they said the match deserved better colour commentary. So who is the, what's this again? Oh, this is Afterburn. So I need to put a colour commentator now. I think I've got three announcers in there, which doesn't help. So um, Laredo Kid defeated Commander and Aero Star in the Lucha Libre high spots match. Uh, neither of these three were amazing. So that's a bit, that's a bit of a shame. And the result, the, res yeah, the show didn't result in any popularity changes. We only got 105 people, and got 62 rates, so a bit poor. But sometimes you need to just do a throwaway show, really, because you can't just keep putting your best workers in every match, every week, because they'll just get knackered and injured. So, um, but Calvin Tankman, that's one plus coming out of it. Calvin Tankman, um, good in the ring, so we can put him in a singles match next time, and hopefully he'll do well. Oh so, yeah. But yeah, right, we'll be back in a minute. Right, we're back for the last episode of... Sorry, the last show of the episode. I can't get the words out today, I apologise. Right, so uh, it's Afterburn, episode 15. Uh, yeah. Um, Grado, Vince McGrado, great outfit backstage, put a great rib in the locker room. That's good. And then another Johnny kid passing on his... It'll let me... There we go. I, I did it too quickly there, sorry. But basically, we all know the score with that now. Um, right, so let's book the next show. So what I'm going to do first is book a, book a pre-show match. Um, I'm pushing somebody who 
I actually tried to push on a, another Fight Club Pro save I did many years ago, uh, Levi Muir. Uh, we're going to have him and we'll put him against, what I'm just going to do is just put him against decent workers and then um, hope that he'll just get better that way. So we'll put him against Chris Hero first in a pre-show match. Obviously we'll have him, we're pushing him so he's going to win. Put him in 15 minutes. Um, Levi Mule, there we go. I know Chris Hero won't be happy about it, but I don't care. So that's that, and then, so that's the pre-show match. Um, we'll do a pre-show angle with him as well. So we'll get him on the microphone as much as possible. Microphone, Chris Hero, microphone. That's that, and then, right, so then we'll start the show properly now. Um, we'll have one-on-one -on -one match. We'll have Calvin Tankman, who did well in the last show he did. And that one. Do that like so. I'll have him against Grado. See how they get on. Do 15 minutes. I'm gonna have Calvin win this and push him. I think Grado is okay with that, which is good. We'll do an interview segment with these two as well. Grado is pretty good on the mic, so hopefully, he can carry the segment. And what we'll do now is a women's match. We'll have Ginny versus. Mm, where is she? Oh no, she's not here at the moment. Um, not Vipress. I've already done Reho, so we'll leave Reho for now. Um, Kira Hogan, maybe? Probably won't be a very good match. Should we do, let's do, no, not Julia, because we've done, we've done that match before. What about a Mal? Let's try a Mal, see how she gets on. We'll do 13 minutes. We'll have Ginny win. Like so, and then we'll do another match, and we'll have a tag title match this time. So uh, we will have the tag champs, P.O.D., Rampage and Ashton versus um, Tag Team View, let's have a look. Pretty deadly maybe. We'll have the colons. Yeah, tag Team, Ashton and Rampage retain. And then what we'll do an angle before the show. Oh no, we'll do an angle afterwards with Carly, microphone, Eddie, microphone, rampage, microphone. We'll do this before we'll do this before the main event. I was gonna I was going back and forth in my head whether to just do a post match beat down to end the show, but we won't. We'll just have the main event actually end the show. So we'll do that and then I think that's it really. So yeah, let's start after burn, let's see how we get on. So in the pre-show match got a 40, uh, Levon Moore only got a 32 rating, but we're just going to put him against better workers and get him up there, hopefully. Uh, Chris Arrow is really off his game. Levi Moore was rusty, so we just need to put him in a, we just need to give him match time, really. The angle afterwards, uh, the angle, uh, did well. Uh, he's good on the mic, Levi Moore. Uh, the angle with Calvin Tankman and Grado did well as well. Let's see how the match did. The match only got 63. Uh, Grado let the team down. Um, but yeah, Calvin Tankman push starts, and so does Levi Mules. Um, Ginny carried the match here by the looks of it, got an 82 rating. Um, yeah, so um, Ginny won. Hold on, bear with me. Hey, no, no, get out. I'm sorry I had to do that live, everybody. Baxter was chewing my charger cable on my laptop. He started doing it the last day or two. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a new laptop next week anyway, so it's not too much of an issue, but I'll still need it for now. Anyway, back to this. So um, Ginny defeated Amal. Um, they got an 82 rating, which is really good. 
the angle with the col uh, with the colons and POD got 49. My page Brown struggled when going off script. And then the P uh, the main event POD retained their tag titles, got 75 rating. Um, Eddie Colon and Rampage Brown carried the, the match. Carlito and Ashton Smith didn't. Uh, Ashton Smith wasn't too bad actually, to be honest. But yeah, Carlito was not very good. But yeah, we didn't get an increase in popularity, unfortunately, and we got an over rating of 71, 108 people. So, Afterburn's been a bit... The last two Afterburn episodes have been a bit rubbish. Hopefully we can sort that out. But anyway, uh, we'll do that next episode. Uh, let me just expand that. But yeah, thank you as always. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, by the way, I've got a really cool wrestling t-shirt. Look, Wolfpack. Remember them? I love this t-shirt. Um, yeah, but anyway, thank you as always, everyone, for watching. And thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Obviously, it all helps. And just try and watch the video to the end because it helps me. The more time you watch it, the better it will get pushed out by YouTube. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you as always. And I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. See you. Bye.